Hello, in this video I want to, I have two goals. First, I want to inspire you to love transforms, transitions, and animations. Second, I want to talk about three words that begin with the word letter T that sometimes if you don't, you have to distinguish between these three words because it gets confusing. So, Let's all get the same code. You can get the code that we're going to be working with and also see the end project that we're going to be doing right now on pretty much the next couple, this video or the next video. Right here, you get the code right here at creativeclerk.com. Click menu. Now click tables. No, click CSS transforms transitions. Okay, this is the project. And when you get here to see what we're going to do, just click an image. So when you get to the end of the slideshow, right click and click view page source, then select everything I'm going to do it with control a then copy everything and then go to your text editor whatever text editor you want the page that you want to work with and again select everything here and then paste everything you just copied so let's go ahead and save that I'm going to go back to now I don't need this view page source anymore now this is what we have on the website this is my remote server this is what I have on the desktop so we have the same thing this is remote this is desktop because we just copy the code so now we're working with the code so let's go ahead and do some experimenting with this okay first of all let's look at some of this code I'm gonna comment this out for now and what we have in the HTML down here, now I put everything in the style tag. I know you re we really need to externalize our CSS, but for this purposes, it, there's a couple reasons that I want to leave it inside the style tag. For one thing, that way you can just copy all the code from view source and you won't have to get any of the files. What you will need later on is a link to jQuery, and I already have mine right here. So I have some other functions there. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what we have here in the body tag, we have an, an so we have an image set, a, a div with a class of image set, and four images in there. Right now, I'm going to comment those out. And this is all the JavaScript down here. So in our HTML, we that's all we have. So in this image set, I'm going to give this image set some properties CSS properties okay so what I want to do is give it a property of app position and its value is going to be absolute okay so remember this properties values so we're gonna look at that in a minute so I'm gonna give it some more properties top left width and height Okay, so all these are properties. Top is a property, a value is, the value of that property is 50%. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna refresh it. So now we have this div with this red border and it's positioned 50% from its top down and 50% from its left. But I want the center to be right in the middle of the page. So I'm gonna put an X right here with my screencast software and let's go back to the code. And what I want to do is transform translate it. The word transform means to change. So that could be a property with CSS. So I can type right here with a semicolon that's just another property, a CSS property. Like border is a CSS property. Its value is solid, two pixels red. 
its top is a property, its value is 50%. Same thing with transform, but its properties are something like translate. So these two words begin with, both begin with T and they should not be confused with each other. This is the property, this is its value. Or we could have other values for transform such as rotate. We'll talk about those in a minute. For right now, I want to put this div with the red border in the middle of the page. So what I need to do is translate it. I need to make some kind of a transformation to my div with the red border. So I want to translate it. Now we can translate it on the x-axis or on the y-axis or both. We're going to do both right now. So I want to transform it, translate it to the negative 50%. And then I want to trans, translate it negative 50% on its height. I'm going to save that. Go back here and refresh. Now I didn't, right, we're right here. Okay, so when I refresh, See what happened is I moved it, I translated it 50% of its width and then 50% of its height. So see how we put it right in the middle of the page. Now let's go back to the code and let's mess around with this height. And So what if we made it 25%, a width of 25%, save that refresh but it's still in the middle of the page because we're relative we we're translating it 50 percent of its height we're not dealing with right here we're dealing with the top property we're dealing with 50 percent of its container element and down here when we deal with the transform property its value is 50 percent of its height Okay, not its container's height. So it doesn't really matter if we make this a 25%. And save it. Refresh. And it's still going to be in the center of the page. So that's how you put it in the center of the page. Now we can transform this in, in other ways. We can transform translate it only by its X. So right now I'm going to take this whole transform off. And... Remember, it's, it's width and height is now 25%, okay? So now we're still in the, the top corner is in the center of the page. But when we translate it, let's translate it only by its X. So I need to put a capital X right here. So now we have a new property, I mean a new value. This is the same property as transform is the property. The value is translate X. So let's save that and refresh. And we just moved it over. So now it's is centered horizontally but not vertically. So let's go and change this X to a Y. It has to be a capital Y. Okay. Save that. Refresh. And you see what happens? We're transforming, translating it. Okay. So so also you can also, you don't have to use percentages you can use pixels and then it's going to see how it's a little bit of a subtle change but if I did 500 pixels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift it down by 500 pixels and it's way off the let me go to um, go to like 200 pixels okay Okay, we can translate it. X, you, you remember the translate Y and translate X has to be distinguished by a capital. See, it gives you that right there. And we're going to translate it. Now we're going to translate it by minus 200 pixels horizontally. And, well, that's because it was, that's where it was in, originally. So, 
Let me make a comment right here. So translate X is the horizontal. So when we want to translate both, we need to take the Y out or the X out and then add another property. See our first property, our first value right here, minus 200 pixels, is the X. Our second one is going to be the Y. So I'm going to translate that by minus 100 pixels. So I'm going to comment all this out for now. So our original position, let me comment this out for now. Let's look at our original position. So that's our original position. Now we're going to uncomment that out. So what's going to happen is we're going to translate both of them by 200 pixels this way to the left and 100 pixels up to the right once I refresh. And that's what happened. Okay. So anyway, that's the transition transform property. Its value is a transition. It could be either transition X, in which case you have to specify how much you want to transition. We're transitioning by 200 minus 200 pixels, which sends it back to the left. Or we can translate Y right here. We need to put past the value. The parameter is minus 200 pixels to the to up, okay? Or we can translate both. In this case, we don't need either an X or a Y, but we do need both of the parameters. The X, we're going to translate it minus 200 pixels to the that's to the left, and then minus 100 pixels up, okay? Now, remember that these have to be capitalized. This is camel case. Transition X, transition Y. So, anyway, that's where we're, we're at right now. I want to try to keep these videos not too long, not too much. I want to keep them under 10 minutes. I think we're over this time. So, in the next video, we're going to talk about another property that begins with a T called transition. And that has other values to it too. So anyway, I want to take a minute out to say, well, thank you for watching. And I hope you learned something if you did. And please help me by passing this along. Share this video. And if you like it, subscribe and, and give me a thumbs up. Or Also, if you have any questions, post them down in the comment. Like when you're on watching a YouTube video, you can always add comments down here unless they got them disabled. So anyway, and remember where you can find this code. You can go here, creativeclerk.com, choose menu, CSS transforms, transitions. And on this page, this is what we're going to do in this, basically in this few next few videos. Just click on the image. You can copy the code. You can get all these images by right clicking and say save images. I think I already said that. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.